All right, at this point, we are ready to take off the cylinder head. So here's what you've got. You got one, two, three, four bolts. Again, this is a three cylinder model. And then in here, it's a, you've got one, two, three, four bolts. Now it's very important that to keep things from warping, you take them off in the right order. So we're gonna go one, and we'll just do a quarter turn here, two, three, four, okay? Then you're gonna go five, six, seven, eight, okay? So that's how we're gonna do it, and it's gonna be just a quarter turn at a time. So we're gonna circle around, do the whole thing like that. So it turns out like a breaker bar would be really helpful. These are in there pretty tight. Uh, what I found was this kind of T-handle, which I'm able to just kind of force muscle, so I've gotten a couple of them loose, but uh, you can watch kind of how tough it is. I don't know if this will show on video, but... Oh, man. Oh, Leverage, okay. Okay, well, it's super zoomed in. That's the wrong way. So, super giant pipe with this worked okay for me. Figure it out for yourself. <laughs> Good news, I got the cylinder head bolts out, and uh, we've got, I disconnected this hose from the back here, because uh, it looked like the only thing kind of attaching all of this to the top, and check this out. If I give it a good tug, it's moving, so. Basically, it's off the engine now. Uh, what I need to do is just, these ha this has to get kind of pried away, so it's off the exhaust manifold, but I think it needs to come up and out like that. So I need to, I may need to get a partner or I'm gonna wrestle it for a little bit and see what happens. Dun, dun, dun. So we got another hose. Two hoses. Yeah, she's really cute. Liam's all... She has a grass mustache. Ha ha ha! That's funny. I'll keep her then. I feel like you're able to save me 
It's okay. You want mommy? Okay, let's tell mommy that. Mommy, she's down. Hey! You're good today. Hey, give me that. Bye, sister. Love you. Gasoline, awesome, okay. more. Oh wow, yeah the gasket looks toast. That's good. Thing holding it on, okay. I don't want to do it close, pull it off there. Ta da! I've done it! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, if you have long hair like me, I suggest wearing a hat or like a hair tie because it was a lot of work to do that. <laughs> and I'm all sweaty and ridiculous. Okay, also, wear gloves on both hands because that's what you should do. Uh, but check it out! This is the cylinder head. Oh, I'm sorry, this is, no, this is the, not, this is the bottom of the engine. But 
Look at all that gunkiness. That doesn't look good or healthy. And you can see there's coolant in that channel, but it doesn't look healthy. Uh, all of that, I don't know, that's broken gasket material. So definitely broken gasket material there. Uh, you know, we got the cylinders. Look at that, looks like top dead center like we planned. That's good, that's what we want. Um, and then, you know, oil. There's a lot of places, so I don't know. If that looks like what it looks like, I don't really know a lot about engines, but this, well, falling, is this. So, okay, we've got our intake manifold, which we're gonna have to unbolt from the head to get it machined and stuff, uh, with a carburetor on top. Uh, but check this guy out. Let's look at the damage here. So, oh, okay. This is, see the spark plugs parking in there, poking in there? Lots of gasket material. Yeah, like that doesn't look healthy. Um, guessing that this is a big part of my problem here. So, we're gonna replace this. However, I have found, and I'm pretty excited about it, that you can buy a performance like port and polished ridiculous head uh, for this engine, and so I am going to be doing that, so stay tuned.